earlier this evening, storms were rocking and rolling across the wiregrass, but now action radar is starting to clear off just a bit, mostly in the eastern part of the area. We still do have some light to moderate rain, mainly along the Chattahoochee River, Houston County, and into uh, Seminole County, seeing some of that right now. There were some flooding concerns earlier in the evening as well, since these storms are very slow moving and the atmosphere has a lot of moisture to work with, so they are able to dump upwards of one to two inches of rain very quickly. And on action radar, as far as those rainfall estimates, many of the locations that did receive the two to three inches were on the east side of the river. But even in, in uh, Dothan itself, we did have a little bit of an issue with some of the storms that were moving through the area. For tomorrow, those rain chances will be with us again, concentrated in the afternoon hours. Overall, a 40 to 50 percent chance for rain. I think the better chances are going to be in the southern part of the area, just like they were earlier for this afternoon and the temperatures since the cloud cover is going to be a little bit thicker and the rain cover should be a little bit greater. Those temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler upper 80s for our Wednesday and then as we head into the later part of the work week and for the start of the weekend lower 90s heat index temperatures will be in the triple digits. So certainly stay cool and stay hydrated. Take plenty of breaks if you are going to be outdoors at all over the next couple of days because that heat is going to be slow to go away and actually the average high temperature has dropped down to 90 degrees, so some of the afternoons will be trending above average. Rain still on the radar, mainly to the south in the Big Bend area. We have a cold front that's been producing some strong storms for the upper um, Midwest, upper Mississippi Valley, but that's going to be staying on that part of the country, actually staying well to the north, tracking north of the Ohio River Valley. For us closer to home, we're going to be dealing with some Gulf moisture coming into the region, and that's why we do have that chance of having some pretty heavy rain each afternoon and more coverage for tomorrow afternoon. And then as we head into Thursday early in the morning, already down to our south, we'll have some storms developing and some of those will work their way into our area as we do head into the later afternoon hours and into the evening hours as well. And Friday it looks like it's going to be a rather wet day at times. We'll have more on that as we get closer to it. Uh, lots of football games going on, so that forecast is going to be pretty important for tonight. Mix of sun and clouds as we head into the first part of tomorrow. The cloud cover will be thinning out. Watch out for a little bit of patchy fog. Storms developing to our southeast by 215 and they will be lifting into our area, likely clearing out as we head into the early evening hours, seven o'clock and beyond. We'll be looking at that uh, radar clearing out pretty nicely for us. And then for Thursday morning, same type of pattern starting off with those showers and storms down to our south in the tropics. Overall, things are fairly quiet. Long range guidance does indicate that we could see some of the clouds over the Caribbean Sea that are very disorganized right now. Nothing to really worry about at the moment, but we could see some development there. The waters are starting to warm up, but the main thing that the Hurricane Center is watching it's off the coast of Africa in the central Atlantic Ocean in the equatorial regions, a 20% chance of developing over the next five days. And we've really seen some changes in the tropical waters. Those waters along the equator are actually a little bit warmer than average. It's going to be a little bit more conducive of development over the next couple of weeks as we do head into mid-September. That is the peak of hurricane season, so it will not be out of the question that we do have anything developing or something developing out there. Gulf of Mexico is trending above average for us as well. For tonight, we could still see a few stray showers, a few stray storms, 72 degrees for that low temperature. And then for Wednesday afternoon, 89 degrees for that high temperature. Scattered showers and storms have the umbrella ready, and that's going to be the same thing as we do head into the next couple of afternoons. Friday could be a little bit more stormy again. Same thing for Saturday, and then as we head into Sunday and Monday, Labor Day Monday, conditions will be settling down just a bit. Afternoon showers and storms, rain chances between 30 and 40 percent. High temperatures will be in the lower 90s each afternoon, with the exception of Wednesday, 89 degrees.